people give to him in Japan. I don't know the actual Japanese pronunciation. Dao Sheng He Fu. I'll find it out later. It's very famous. And how he started from scratch. Oh yes, Kazuo Inamori. So Kazuo Inamori. Hi. So Kazuo Inamori. Um, he's the sage of Japanese management. And he um, single-handedly built two companies. One of the top companies, listed companies in Japanese market. And but he became a monk afterwards. So how did he came from one of the most successful entrepreneurs into a monk? It starts with cancer. So he has a stomach cancer one day. And being a person as successful as he is, he's steady, he's, not, he's calm, he's not overwhelmed by it. So he finds someone to take over two companies that he has founded and become a monk. And focus on, you know, Buddhist cultivation. However, uh, not and then not long after he has recovered from the cancer condition. However, afterwards there was a situation in his country, Japan, uh, where the Japan airline has encountered a serious recession. At the, uh, it's just like Qantas going to bank, which is gonna hurt a lot of Australian economies. Same for Japan. So. It is so serious that the Prime Minister of that time in Japan asked this um, uh, Mr. Kazuo to you know, come out uh, from his um, monkhood to be a lay person so that he can assist the whole nation to recover uh, the economy through Japanese airline. He did that you know, to save his country and not just recover from recession. He made it profitable. How much more for profitable? 1,800 million. So about billions of yen. Yeah, 80 billion, right? 180 billion. 180 billion, thank you. 180 billion yen. 180 million yen. It's a million. It's a million, right? It's a million. So just eat by passing the billion, billion of yeah. Japanese yen. So he make it profitable, not just survive. In true only for, for only like 424 days. And when people ask him, what do you recommend you know, for next generation? He pull out a book, Liao Fan Sishun, Liao Fan Four Lessons. And this is how you change your destiny. You should follow Liao Fan Four Lessons. And we all learn that. 现在这个时代生活不容易啊，他讲不知道命运在自己手上，他会很担忧，很惶恐的，因为他明理了，心才能安呢，不然啊，就每天可能会遭遭。The reason why we have such a unstable, volatile mentality in nowadays is because we do not know. How do we change control and change our destiny? Once we understand the ways to change our destiny, naturally our heart will settle down. We won't be affected by outside circumstances as much. Because they know that the next generation of my family will be very important figures in propagating the Buddhism, the Dharma. Because my family is also in Yichun. So Mary Wu's family is also coming from the house of Fishy. Yeah, yeah. 兄弟全部都是捕鱼的，到我爸爸这一代出来了，哎，不然我可能也在捕鱼了。因为我爷爷很重视让我们读书，让他的子孙读书，就改变过来。Venerable、uh, his family, uh, their family,、uh, his grandfather's generation, they're all like、uh, fish mongers. Only until his father, they turn around their family fortune. Because his grandfather emphasized a lot on the importance of education in turning our lives around. Otherwise, Venerable would be 
the stupid kitchen fish. Wow, you can be together as a family. The whole family will be able to attend, you know, to go to Pyongyang. It's all completely different. It's the most beautiful ending. 对呀、啊，不然下辈子都不认识他。<笑> Otherwise, next life, if we don't、um, able to attain, you know, reborn in pure land, we won't be able to know each other. Once we go to this next life. <笑>好，那我们就题目交流一下啊。Uh, let's exchange our any question, any question in your mind. Go. Ahead. 哎，我们看第一个问题哈。Back to first question。如何在忙碌的生活中恢复平静的心境啊 ？How do we regain our composure amidst the hustle and bustle of our lives？ 佛法的修行啊，很重要的一点呢，在安住当下。人的心能安在当下呢，他就不能着急。所以事情可以多，心不可以忙，啊，心不可以跟着事情多而急。Buddhism is about being in the present, in this moment, at this moment. You can have a lot of matters, you can have a lot of schedules. Business and stuff like that, but your heart must be one. Your heart cannot be agitated with your matters. You can have a lot of stuff to handle, but your but our heart must always have point of focus. Ah, 就好像我今天上了一天班，我很忙，然后你就哎呀，好忙啊，好忙啊，好忙。然后到了下班回来，哎，你你就。累垮了，啊、哦，然后你说啊，我忙了一天呢、啊，我来平静平静吧，好、哦，哦，这是一个结果了。和，你从一开始，同样的，一天，同样的工作，啊、哦，比方，你在赶车的时候，啊，你你你要坐交通工具的时候，你就念着佛。啊，你上了，呃，交通工具的，哎，你听着经，啊，你虽然这个时间都很紧凑，但是你的心是安定的，啊，包含你在工作了，你在处理事的，你都不要很急很慌，啊，很好的去去沟通啊，很好的去做事啊。那你的心，在整天的工作当中，它是平静的，啊，纵使有起伏，也不大，好，然后一有起伏了，你就阿弥陀佛，哎，他就静下来了，哎。So in our daily hustle, busy work, rush, and common scenario is where we. Finish the whole busy day. We come home and just take a deep breath and say, "I just need to calm down, settle down." So, what we can do to make ourselves more stable in our mental state, despite the hustling and bustling, is when we go on to the、uh, public transport. We can, you know, employ the use of technology. You know, listen to our army talk, singing, chanting of army talk, or listen to the Dharma talk.、Um, Uh, even like when we on our way to work, if we have a chance, turn on the tune of uh, Amitabha Chanti or Dharma Talk, so that our heart is constantly in that rhythm, not being put off the foot by what happening to us.、Um, because our objective is to cultivate a what to say a heart of equilibrium, a peaceful heart,、um, despite what's happening outside.、Uh, that's our goal. Otherwise, if the contrast is too big, it will take longer time to recover. 
So we need to practice it every opportune moment we have uh, between the breaks and stuff like that. So that we are used to the, the calm and tranquility. Even that thing that we are working on is very busy. We, we cannot get agitated because of it. We still follow step by step, one by one, just like when we turn it. Okay. Okay. 